Hey everyone, Tragic here. You know what's hot right now? Marvel cards, believe it or not. Uh, specifically these Marvel Universe cards here. Um, the Series 1 complete boxes are going for like 2500 bucks on eBay right now. Just out of the blue. The collectible world craziness is just bleeding over into this non-sport kind of stuff. Um, it's pretty funny to me, honestly. Uh, I had gotten these packs as a lot for like super cheap just like a couple months ago just for fun. Um, so now they're almost relevant. So I'm going to kind of open these up and see what's going on with it. Um, any of these other ones, I don't know if they'll end up being targets for um, buyouts and things like that. But these Marvel Universe cards just all of a sudden are the hot ticket. And uh, so we'll save that one for last. Um, let's take a look at these. I, I really just wanted this stuff for fun. I am not going to send any of this stuff off for grading because that's currently the thing is to get. Wow, I can't even get this open. Is to open that up, get cards, like I guess key cards, um, with absolutely perfect corners and surface and get a PSA 10 and then you're gonna be able to turn around and sell it for five thousand dollars and make a bunch of money well I got news for you all this stuff is still just sitting around in people's warehouses just waiting for a moment like this for it to be like worth something and uh, they're gonna unleash them all on the market um, so this is temporary at best I think I don't think that this is essentially like an established market that's going to um, stick and hold. Um, I myself uh, have several long boxes of actual comic books, first appearances, nothing, uh, nothing super, you know, high end graded, but all the stuff that I used to like. Um, so cards to me is best left to games that actually have a usage, like Magic: The Gathering. These Jack Kirby cards. Are interesting but they are characters that I know nothing about so the Warriors of Illusion are right there so that's that um, yeah PSA graded Jack Kirby cards probably nothing so speaking of games is actually a Marvel heroes and villains trading card game so that's, that's one I wanted to check out a little bit to just kind of see that's a if it's a game that could be played so a really nice uh, card stock on that and then with comic book cards you can actually choose uh, some really nice art to put on there spider-man versus red hulk what makes this a game don't know there's no stats or anything that's just the cover of that this is a game just have to double check trading cards nope never mind it's not a game these are just trading cards again they're neat but uh uh, I don't think they have much depth to the market. Scar versus Juggernaut. These are really nice premium cards, though, I guess. Um, if I was going to try to collect a whole set, it would be something like this. But I really couldn't see sending these off for grading. We're talking 25 to 50 bucks per card with the turnaround time of right now, I think the backlog is like 10 months. Um, by the time you get your graded cards back, there's going to be a zillion more of these kind of things especially these on the market and it'll depress that value like quite a bit 96 Fleer X-Men and there was some kind of chase to win the world's most valuable card at $451,000 wow I don't know what, what would that have been I guess you have to visit the website from 20 some years ago <laughs> Fatal Attractions. There's Wolverine getting all his adamantium pulled out. I think that's not the original artwork. This actually looks like, yeah, that would have been the actual cover. I think I had that one at one time. It's got a hologram on it. A bunch of gimmick stuff from the uh, the comic book world back then. Haunted Mansion Professor X. There you go. He says that. Silver Samurai. Sabretooth, Gladiator. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like the art style on these. They're, they're not traditional comic. I would rather have the traditional comic itself. 
All right, there we go. The win world's most valuable card, official entry card. What is the card? Is it in there somewhere in the rules? And it's all in quotation marks, like it's all really subjective. Hold on, let's see. Oh yeah, 1910 Honus Wagner T206 collector card, estimated retail value of $451,000, formerly owned by Wayne Gretzky. That's really interesting. So they were actually going to buy a car, or they did buy a car from Wayne Gretzky and then had a sweepstakes for it if you bought all these cards. Was there really $450,000 in this particular card market? to make it worth their while. That's really interesting. Wolverine cards from then till now. So I don't know if any of these other tertiary Marvel card sets have caught on in value. Time will tell maybe uh, if this craziness from the Marvel Universe stuff bleeds over. There's Wolverine, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. No, this is from uh, the actual Wolverine comic. There's Omega Red, really cool art there. I'm going to say maybe that's uh, Greg Capullo art. Not sure. Pretty cool stuff. Maybe Mark Silvestri. It's hard to tell. So, Punisher's Yuriko? Mariko. And then Punisher and Ghost Rider, of course. Yeah. So, again, I don't know if something like this would be of interest to the graders and the hype guys right now that are trying to blow up this market. I just want to kind of look at it and see for fun. That one's cool. Wolverine. I believe that's John Romita Jr. art. Looks like it. Okay, here we go. So Marvel Universe Series 3. Um, I mean, I bought these as a lot and each one of these packs costs less than a dollar. Now, a box of this particular one, I think is like 500 bucks all of a sudden. In the last few weeks, it's gone up from there. So I better really pay close attention. I'm gonna say, I guess save this wrapper and see, oh, it's actually got the, the rules of the, the card here. Oops, I'm ruining them just by doing that. So here we go. Did we, get any, did we get anything good? Are we going to be able to to retire on this? Blackout from the Ghost Rider series. Super villain. Probably not a big one. These were always interesting to me, though, when I was a kid. Because it would tell you their, their, their stats. Strength, intelligence, energy protection. So his fighting ability is a 5. That's pretty good, right? Pantheon? Oh yeah, these are guys from Hulk. From the Peter David run of Hulk. Slapstick, this is a goofy character that I never really cared for. But he exists in the Marvel Universe. Avengers West Coast. It's a team. The, the centering looks good. You know, the surface looks good. The corners are fine. Would these pull a PSA 10? Maybe. Would anyone buy them? when they come back from grading in almost a year? Probably not because the market is going to be flooded with this stuff soon. Epoch. The Rose. Yeah, I, I do not recommend really going too deep on trying to collect this stuff. Punisher and Daredevil team up. So maybe that would be one that would be of interest to someone. But as a card, I mean, I would rather have the, the actual comic where that happened as a collector of, since I'm already a comic collector, Wolverine, Ghost Rider, and Punisher. Team ups. And then they flip over. We've got Polaris. Uh, I always liked X Factor and the characters that were on that team. Polaris is Magneto's daughter, so that's kind of cool. Night Thrasher, the leader of the New Warriors. One of my least favorite characters on the New Warriors, actually. But he is part of that. So Black Panther and Ghost Rider round out. So those, I don't know, they're key characters, right? So maybe they would be worth uh, sending in for grading. Who knows? There's like some little chippies from the, the cutting process. So this is already down to like PSA 8. Not even worth it. Look at this. There's like little bits of it. Sticking off of there, so 
I will probably not be participating in that. But those are my two cents on Marvel cards right now. Uh, I would recommend not getting caught up in the hype. I, I, I'm interested in some of this stuff just to open for fun. So now the prices have skyrocketed and it's hard to get a hold of that stuff. Um, actually, I've been into some G.I. Joe cards and so we'll be opening those uh, at some point. And those are another thing that's been targeted and the prices have gone way up right now. It was never a hobby before. No one ever did PSA grading on G.I. Joe cards. So it's just very interesting, this whole collectible world right now. Anyway, that's me saying have a good one. Catch you later.